heading into our next uh, segment we will be focusing on the FADA Academy progress review and strategic outlook for this i am going to request mr vinkesh gulati former chairman of FADA Academy and research and mr manish raj singhania the current chairman of FADA Academy and research whose tenure is going to be from 2024 to 2026 both of them will be joining us on stage so good evening guys i know it has been a long day but uh, this ARC or every ARC is like that. We have to, a lot of things to discuss, a lot of th panel discussions to do important topics and this is also an important topic. Uh, so, Saharsh, can I request you to please ask people to sit down? So, as you know, uh, uh, this has, th we are talking about the academy. So, a bit of uh, sayings, a bit of uh, senior leaders' words I have taken to give you a thing. So, starting with the, so you all know our Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam said, Sapne wo nahi hote jo hum sote wak dekhte hain. Sapne wo hote hain jo hume sone nahi dete. And uh, in 1992-94, our Mr. Arun Sanghi, Mr. Bharat Sanghi, and Mr. S.P. Shah saw a dream where they thought about opening an FADA Institute of Marketing and Research. But obviously, there were a lot of other priorities at that time in auto retail, and they couldn't uh, take that mantle ahead. Uh, Mr. John Paul, our past president, again tried to do that, but then again, a lot of issues, then COVID came and we couldn't. So I feel I had been the lucky one to actually get that activated. So when I left, when I gave my post as president to Mr. Manish in 2022, I got those two years to work on as academy chair. And uh, again, I'm saying, so Mahatma Gandhi says, jab aapka kaam bolta hai, to shabdo ki jarurat nahi hoti hai. So it's better I don't speak. Can I have that AV which speaks for itself? Thanks a lot. A small summary. We had done some eight courses in the past two years. Done some three big tie-ups, IIT Delhi, Narsi Monji, and one more. Uh, overall, in these two years, we had a revenue of FAD Academy of a crore. That is what we earned for FADA. Uh, obviously, because it's just a start, 
it's still in a very nascent stage and our targets are huge. We have touched around 213 lives and most of them are Gen X or WIF. So I'm very proud that uh, while I was the president, I started both the verticals and I could through its uh, uh, stabilizing with the academy going through. So 213 lives added and uh, the sense of achievement comes when at such meeting you meet uh, the parents whose kids have gone through academy and then they praise you that it has made a difference. That is where I still remember there was a Bombay dealer whose daughter came in and uh, he had a problem that only daughter doesn't want it to join. She came in for Gen X, Sachin is here. They had a lot of discussion in the meetings. And after uh, two months, the parent again met me, that father, and said, thank you very much. Now, she's going abroad for studying, but she has committed that she'll join the business. And that is what, when you feel, you have actually made the difference because as all industries, Gen X are looking at startups and all those other things, where as FADA, we thought our duty is to lure them back in because all those Ferraris and business class or uh, US and UK studies had come out of that dealership only. So that's how it started. Uh, so frankly, as my time here ends, I carry with me a satisfaction of a job well done and the joy of shared success. And in that, I thank the full secretariat team. Uh, most importantly, Sahersh. Sahersh, are you there somewhere? OK. I'll convey him. And Vikas, academy dean, who is also outside, so I'll convey to him also. They both have always been the support in my endeavors. So having fulfilled my pr purpose, it's with pride and gratitude that I stepped down today and pass the baton to a very deserving person, none other than Mr. Manish Raj Singhania. Join me with applause on welcoming Manish as chairman. You know, I feel like a lucky guy. When I took up uh, the presidentship, before me, we, I had an uh, able and capable mentor. And uh, now uh, the baton of academy is being handed from Again, this able and capable mentor. So uh, he kind of makes me my things easy. He has shown and paved the path of the academy uh, like a, a real pro. And uh, he has really worked hard. Uh, uh, built on the academy post-COVID, it was very tough. Uh, Ashish probably could not do it. But uh, I think the true foundation of uh, academy has been laid down by Vinkesh. So thanks a lot, Vinkesh, and great job done by you, sir. So uh, as uh, he is passing on the responsibility, uh, I, 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 try to, I will try to give my best. And a uh, few things that I really want to delve upon. Uh, one of the biggest areas of concern with the speed of change in technology, finding skilled manpower to handle this technology both at sales and service point. It is important that skilled manpower is available across geography, even to tier two and tier three cities. Therefore, it is important that dealerships are engaged in developing training centers to both skill and train manpower in all critical profile. FADA is an integral part of ASDC. We are partners along with Siam and ACMA. I really intend to engage on this partnership with them and develop training centers across the country. We'll also engage with them for training the trainers program. This will help us creating developed and developing manpower and control cost. This is one of the biggest cause of concern at the dealership. We are ex ever expanding. Our manpower requirement is ever growing. And we uh, kind of, you know, we have also have a, a retail industry to compete, uh, compete with where uh, uh, a very comfortable, you know, AC environment is provided by the retail in industry and a sitting job uh, to attend to. And uh, uh, what we need is ever evolving and ever growing and ever well-trained manpower for this uh, new uh, technologies that would be coming in. So our, my focus, apart from carrying out uh, whatever 
uh, work or uh, initiative Vinkesh has laid down. Uh, I would specifically focus on establishing training centers across the length and breadth of country so that uh, dealerships are able to throw out train manpower in their own towns or in their state and we continue to nurture and uh, attend uh, or kind of, you know, provide the uh, ever-growing need of manpower at the dealership. Secondly, FAD Academy has uh, done a phenomenal work on uh, data-based research. We have all seen the wonders of Vahan that uh, FAD is able to create. We have uh, uh, created a very strong brand in uh, research space. As uh, chairman of FADA Research and Academy, I would definitely want to take it to the next level by introducing areas of research which will influence policy making. By all the constituents of the auto retail uh, ecosystem, especially the OEMs, the research would be undertaken in collaboration with globally recognized partners in this field. One of the topics touched upon in earlier sessions was request to honorable minister of uh, was a request made to honorable uh, minister of environment for shifting of auto dealers from orange to green zone uh, in terms of pollution pollution norms will collaborate will 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 collaborate with one of the iits to establish and execute the same one of the tentative topics that also com comes to my mind is the impact of frequent changes in CI norms on uh, dealership business. So these are the few studies and uh, on all these studies also, we are also getting inspired by our uh, NADA, that is uh, American Automobile Dealer Association, which continuously uh, come forward with detailed study uh, for the benefit of the auto retail industry so that uh, uh, the OEMs, the financiers, and the dealers get the right, the right perspective of the industry and act accordingly, not on a perception. So that's what we'll be working on. And uh, definitely, uh, uh, President is the uh, uh, part of my team. I would definitely create a team big enough to uh, cater to what FADA requires in terms of uh, uh, research and academy. And then I'll take this uh, baton forward to my best of my abilities. Thank you. So I'll use this opportunity. Manish Bhai ne mera beton le liya, lekin dobara mujhe phasa diya. So as you are all aware, I am currently holding the post of Vice President at Automotive Skill Development Council. So all these training centers will come under Automotive Skill uh, uh, Council. My request to all the dealers are, whosoever wants to become a training partner, please contact Manish Bhai or me, any of the two, and uh, we can take it further. In ASDC, we have taken a target of uh, coming up with 100 training centers in an year, which will include the component manufacturers and the dealers also. And ASDC team is around. If anybody wants, we can still get you in touch with that. And this is the need of the hour because the auto industry is growing at a CAGR rate of 4 to 5, 6 percent, which means 2030 will be at least doubling or tripling what we are doing today, which means we'll be needing at least three times of manpower what we have today. And even today, like Manish Ji has taken the uh, main goal of setting up training center means the, we are still, the gap is huge, what manpower we need and what we have. So I invite each one of you because this is the only way of moving out of poaching, moving out of giving high salaries to people even if they don't deserve because you are poaching them. And getting a regular line of manpower which can help you in grow. So uh, I request, I urge you, not request, I urge you because this is the future. If you want to be in automobile, unless and until you have your in-house training grounds, it will be very difficult in the future. So request you to please uh, me, uh, get in touch with Manish Bhai or me on that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Gulati and Mr. Zingania. Just a quick uh, photograph of the two of you in the center of the stage. Uh, can we have the photographers, please? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you can take the seat. <laughs>
round of applause uh, ladies and gentlemen please uh, it was fantastic to hear both of them mr vinkesh gulati and mr manish raj singhania and the plans that they have in store for the fada academy thank you so much sir thank you